Hey guys, it's One Man One Camera. Today is July 7th, 7 11, 2020. I'm here in front of the, what's this place called? Las Vegas Convention Center. And as you can see, the Boring Company is beavering your way, trying to get something done here. All right, let's take a swing past the expansion of the Las Vegas Convention Center. It is a hot, hot, hot day here in Vegas. I am sweating like a son of a gun. All right, let's go. So, here we are. And first things first, we have our glass bridge crossing from the old section into the expansion. Now they have done quite a bit of work here since our last visit. As you can see, I like this roof as I said before. And check out the top of the roof. It has some uh, openings to let light in for those who are walking in. Very nice. All right, let's get cracking. Let's get cracking. All right, here we go. So it is a hot, hot day here in Vegas. I am sweating again, as I said earlier. Let's not get hit by one of these cars. All right, so here we are. Pardon me, the sniffles again. So this 1.2, wait, what was it? 1.2 million square feet? A billion dollar project sorry guys i forgot the numbers exactly i'll put them on the screen but i believe it is a billion dollar project 1.2 million square foot expansion of the las vegas convention center of the las vegas convention center from what i understand this should be open for ces 2021 ces happens in january so we are just what six months out july august september october november, december january we're just six months out from that and they have removed a lot of the scaffolding and here is the main entrance well, here's what looks to be the main entrance, but I'm not sure how much traffic will come through here unless folks are walking from the strip. Because if you were at the uh, convention center, the old section, you'd probably just come on through the, across the bridge. All right. So it's, it is a Saturday morning. There's a crew out here working hard and everything. And so how is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's a okay with no problems going on. All right, we'll just stop behind these outhouses. Okay. So. Oh, some work going on over there. All right. I do like this glass front. Looks good. Looks real good. All right, let's see. And check out the ceiling. You see that right there? Let some light in to the place. There is a dirt mover. And previously there was scaffolding which ran from the left all the way to about here, all the way to there. That's all gone now. I wonder how the interior looks. But if I look inside, well, it's hard to see everything exactly. I can see some things. But it's looking pretty good. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we're just going to cross Debbie Reynolds Drive. Oh, and there's the Wynn and Encore. In the background there is Resorts World, that $4.2 billion project, no, $4.3 billion project, 3,500 rooms. Right. Now I can see, hang on a second, let me uh, Stop in just a second. Hold on. Okay, now this crane right here, I believe, is working on the boring company stuff. Let's see. And also, it's hard to see, but this that um, 
that circular item right there. Hey, right there. That's part of the boring company work for tunnel digging. Now, Elon Musk Boring Company, they have been in discussions or talking about or it's been written about how they wish to expand the Boring Company down the strip and I believe to the airport and stopping at each casino along the way. Of course, just preliminary plans and so on, but it uh, does seem pretty cool. And here are all those uh, windows or stairwells and everything else over here. Great. Yeah. Alright. So I think I have a map. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. There we go. The Boring Company. Trucks enter here. Okay. So we're going to go around. Uh, let's try to go down Elvis Presley and then I'm going home all right so let's keep on keep on rocking it check this out bollards waiting to be installed huh that's what they look like all right interesting I didn't know that Okay, there is Circus Circus. The strap, Drew. I'm right, gonna turn right here onto the Elephant's Boulevard. All right, here we go. Into the wind. Now Elba's Presley Boulevard runs right into the West Gate. Okay, now on this side of the LVCC expansion, as you can see, there's some, hang on, you look back behind me? Damn, there's a car coming. Let me pull over for a minute. Oh, oh, there's a pedestrian area. Ha, I didn't even know that. All right, great. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna ride on the, on, the, uh, on the automobile side. Okay, anyway, all right, so here we are on the northern portion of the LVCC expansion. And not very exciting, okay? All right. We got a door, garage door open or a door to the warehouse portion of it for the people who are having exhibitions to come down and drop their stuff off or unload their stuff. That's always very nice. Something's going on here. Maybe it'd be an elevator perhaps on this side. It looks like a right, there's a recess right there. So presumably there'll be some kind of elevator for things to go up and down, okay? But that cannot be the only elevator. If this thing has two floors, there should be another one, probably at the corner ahead of us. As you can see, things are going along quite nice over here. You know? So, hmm, all right. Now, once we turn on to Paradise, I'll get a shot of the east side, and that will just about do it. Rental car, check this out. Come on, light change, dang it, change, 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 change. How you doing? Here is the West Gate. I never stayed there myself. I never have. Oh, gonna cross here and turn right. So I get a shot. There is the uh, that bridge.
Okay, and there's an advert for pink box donuts. So good, you lick the box. Huh, clever saying. All right. Whoops, here's the eastern side of the Las Vegas Convention Center expansion. See, it's just, you know, warehouse style, okay? Nothing exciting. Functional, but not exciting. All right, you guys, I believe. See, now when we started, we started to the left of the bridge in that parking lot, okay? All right. This is one of our lovely bus stops right here, here in Vegas. A little bit of shade for you. Here's the funny part, some, uh, some bus stops, not funny, don't have any shade at all out here. And if you're waiting for a bus on a hot summer day, you will burn, okay? You will burn. All right, so we started over there made a complete loop, and now we are done. As the circle has been complete, so let's get out of here. I'm gonna get away safe, see me outside, say hello, and I'll say hello back. Take care wherever you are, and have a great day. Oh, by the way, they're now offering uh, free testing here in Vegas in some locations. Um, I know at the uh, UNLV and one of the parking lots, you can get your, your COOF vid tested the virus, but I believe it's appointment only, and I believe they screen you on the, uh, when you're making your appointment, I think so, I believe so. I don't think you can um, walk up and get tested. I mean, I mean, literally on your feet and get tested. And I don't think you can bicycle up either. I think you must be inside of your car, which is interesting to me because, you know, a lot of folks around the country in Vegas just don't have a car, you know, so. Anyway, maybe I'll try to get tested, you guys, to see what happens. Maybe I'll walk up or ride up and say, hey, can I get a test just to see if they will test me or not? What do you guys think? All right, I'm just rambling now. All right, you guys, so anyway. It's hot, I need a shower, I need some water, and I need a shower. <laughs>